I'm currently working on the horn opener to Louis Armstrong's Black and Blue. If you don't know that one, you know, that tells you everything, but go look it up. Um, this is just my usual setup, my YTR 8310Z and my Vincent Buck 1.5A. It's a symphonic setup due to this mouthpiece being quite large and quite deep. Uh, and of course, this is a super nice, precisely built horn with super good slots and very tight tolerances all around. This, on the other hand, is my mechanical nightmare. This is a $280 leaky uh, C slash B flat slash other keys through extension slides. Berkeley winds trumpet, and it really is just not the greatest joy to play. Um, this is my Con 4 mouthpiece that I've never used up to this point. I just have it sitting around. It's quite small, and the rim is horrible on the face. But take a listen to this. Okay, here's a couple of Satchmo licks, first on my normal setup. Next on the Satchmo setup. Another lick on my normal setup. And next on the Satchmo setup. I apologize for the cats. I'd like to point out that this setup serves me for about 90-95% of my playing, and this serves me for none of it. But despite that, despite hardly ever using this horn, usually I use it in the key of C without the extension slide, and never using this mouthpiece except for this, it's it definitely replicates the Satchmo sound a little bit more accurately. And that's what I think the moral of the story here is is if you can if you have the flexibility to play on different sizes of mouthpieces and different sort of types and feels of horns, you can create a wide range of sounds that way, and it makes it easier to emulate the player of your choice, because this doesn't really give you the janky, raspy sort of Satchmo sound. The, that trumpet sounds very nice. It sounds dark with that mouthpiece. All the notes slot very clearly. This one... You know what I mean? I know what I'm saying right now is a little bit of a hot take because a lot of pros advocate only ever using one mouthpiece for 100% of your playing. I don't buy into that, to be totally honest, because for me personally, it's never been too much of a hassle to switch between mouthpiece sizes. And while obviously I don't favor this size, it's just too small for me and doesn't feel great on the shops, it works fine and I can get a different type of sound that way so I think the moral of the story here is really just find the right tool for the job. If you're somebody who works a lot of jobs, as in on one gig you're emulating Satchmo and on the other you're emulating Phil Smith, maybe you shouldn't be using the same mouthpiece for both. So I'm not a huge proponent of the one mouthpiece for everything sort of school of thought. Uh, I do think it's handy to have the same inner diameter mouthpiece of your choice and sort of just mess with the cup depths. These two are drastically different. So 